No one is unaware of the luxury life of Dubai. You'll find the most insane things happening in Dubai. Have you ever thought about why it happens to be in Dubai only? Money. Well, before the 1960s, Dubai was nothing but a normal desert with some poor or middle class families living in it. In the 1960s, oil was discovered in Dubai, and you know the rest. Today, Dubai is a home to a lot of the richest people, and we will take a look at them. So let's start the countdown. Number 10. Saif Al Ghuar. Saif Al Ghuar is a 96 year old man holding the title of the 10th richest person in Dubai. Saif is an Emirati businessman having multiple businesses around the world. He spent his whole life creating his own business empire. His net worth is $1.9 billion. Saif Al Ghuar is the owner of Al Ghuar Group, which is one of the biggest conglomerates in Dubai. Al Ghuar Group has its holdings that represent metals, stock brokerages, ventures and petrochemicals, real estate and packaging. People who are familiar with Dubai will know about Reef Mall and Bergman Center. Both of these malls are owned by Al Ghuar Real Estate. These malls are anchored by H&M and Forever 21. These malls also include LC Waikiki, Splash, Brands for Less and Malton. From where it all started, Saif Al Ghuar got his start in finance at AN Al University with a bachelor's degree. He learned a lot of skills and implemented them as well. Saif has six sons and all of them are integral members of his business. Number 9. Hussein Sawani Hussein Sawani is the chairman of Dubai-based luxury real estate developer Dumont Properties. Except for this, he is a real estate mogul with a lot of properties in the Middle East. Now, let's have a look at his family. Selwan's father was a trader. He had a shop in the local souk selling shirts, watches, and other goods which were imported from China. Sawani's parents were successful entrepreneurs, which means Hussein Sawani has a business in his blood. Hussein Sawani attended a medical college in Baghdad on a government scholarship. After a year, he went to the U.S. and studied industrial engineering at the University of Washington. He did his first job as a financier, and that job changed his life. He started a business and succeeded with rich clients. Now, Sawani has incredible offerings in Paris, London, and Dubai, which includes luxury apartments, a golf course managed by Trump Organization and designed by Tiger Woods, Versace branded in the London One Tower, and Fendi luxury villas styled by Bugatti. If you are planning to buy any of Sawani's property, then get ready to have gifts like Lamborghini with every purchase. If we talk about Hussein Sawani's net worth, then it was over $4 billion, but now it's sank to $2.1 billion. Before we move on, leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be the first watching new episodes. Number 8. Abdullah Al Futaim is an Emirati billionaire who grew up in Dubai. He is the owner of Al Futaim Group and built a great fortune through operations in the automotive field and franchising big brands like IKEA, Hertz, Zara, and Toys R Us. Abdul also owns some shopping malls like Dubai Festival City. He is the owner of Al Futaim Group, which has holdings in different countries like Morocco, Kenya, and Japan. According to Forbes, Al Futaim Group is so profitable and large that it can account for almost 15% of the city's gross domestic product. Abdul Al Futaim's net worth is around $2.5 billion, and he won't hesitate to spend his money around the city. Al Futaim has a nice collection of sports and luxury cars. In 2010, he bought a yacht from Boris Borevsky. Because of some financial problems, construction of the yacht was delayed, and Boris Borevsky could not pay installments, so he sold the yacht to El Futain. Number 7. Sonny Varki Sonny Varki is the owner of the largest private school operator, GEMS Education. These schools are for students from kindergarten to grade 12. Now the question is, why Sonny Varki didn't try any other business? Let me give you the answer. In 1959, Sonny's parents arrived in Dubai to live a better life. When they were living in Dubai, they felt some real need for quality education for every child in the city. Sonny Varki decided to fulfill his parents' wish and started Simple Schools. Today, those Simple Schools have become the largest international school provider. GEMS Education oversees the education of almost 100,000 students in 100 schools in 10 different countries. GEMS Education has an aim to deliver quality education to every child. Sonny Varki is a philanthropist too, and he has donated almost $32 million to deliver education to the children who can't afford school fees. The net worth of Sonny Varki is $2.6 billion, which makes him the seventh richest person in Dubai. Number 6. Bavaguthu Raghum Shetty 
Babaguthu Raga Mushetti arrived in underdeveloped Abu Dhabi in 1973. When he came to Dubai, he had few Durhams and a degree in clinical pharmacy. He had an ambition and a hope to become something. B.R. Shetty started his business from a small company named Neo Pharma and was the starting of the journey to provide medical care to thousands of patients. Neo Pharma brought an endless commitment to provide a healthy life in the city. After some time, B.R. Shetty founded the UAE Exchange. He wanted to make a way for Emirates citizens to send money to their families who live in different countries. The biggest asset of B.R. Shetty is NMC Health, which operates almost 200 clinics and hospitals in 19 countries. NMC Health is the greatest hospital chain in the UAE, with lots of investments in the whole world. The net worth of B.R. Shetty is almost $3 billion. B.R. Shetty supports a lot of medical facilities in the world, including the Cancer Foundation run by Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan and the Special Care Center in Abu Dhabi. Number 5. Mickey Jagdiani Mukesh Wathamal, also known as Mickey Jagtini, is an Indian billionaire businessman based in Dubai. Mickey Jagtiani is the owner and chairman of the Dubai-based Landmark Group. If we look at Mickey's past, then he was born in Kuwait and went back to India. He studied in Mumbai and then he moved to London. In London, he studied in accounting school, but he dropped out. After this, he worked as a taxi driver and after the death of his brother, he moved to Bahrain. In Bahrain, he took over his brother's businesses. He moved to Dubai when the Gulf War struck. In Dubai, they started the Landmark Group. It started growing and expanding into electronics, fashion, and furniture in the South and Middle East. Today, Landmark Group has almost 1,000 stores, and it employs more than 40,000 people. A strange thing about the Landmark Group is they have suspended sales of all Trump-branded products. On the other hand, other billionaires of Dubai are close to the Trump administration. What's the reason behind it? During an election campaign, Donald Trump made some anti-Muslim remarks and that's the reason Mickey suspended sales of his administration's products. The net worth of Mickey Jagtiani is more than $3.5 billion, which are increasing day by day. Number 4. Ravi Pillay Ravi Pillay is the founder and managing director of PR Group, a major Emirati conglomerate with more than 65,000 employees. Ravi Pillay has expanded his business to Bahrain, Qatar, and UAE. He also has interests in hospitality, cement, construction, steel, and oil industries. If we take a look at his past, then he's had a lot of failed businesses in Saudi Arabia and India. He arrived in Dubai with a lot of bad experiences, but he had hope, and today he is living a luxurious life. He has homes in the whole world, which include Trump Tower in Pune and a penthouse. His net worth is $4.3 billion, and he never hesitates to spend it. He spent more than $7 million on his daughter's wedding. The wedding was organized by the production designer of the film, Bahu Bali. Number 3. M.A. Yusuf Ali M.A. Yusuf Ali is the chairman of Lulu Group International, which owns Lulu International Shopping Mall and Lulu Hypermarket Chain. You might be amazed to know that Lulu Group has the largest number of Indian employees outside India. Yusuf Ali is involved in a lot of social charitable activities in the Arab states of the Gulf and India. He also donates to adopted schools and Dubai Care. Yusuf Ali took the initiative to promote and sell organic products, which are grown by the special needs community, and he also took the initiative to start a multi-faith funeral center in Sajar for only the Indian community. Yusuf Ali got the UAE's first golden card, which permits him to stay in the UAE permanently. The net worth of Yusuf is $4.4 billion, and he openly sends his money on toys, like helicopters and luxury cars. Number 2. Abdullah A. Guerrer Is this name looking familiar? Yes! Abdullah Al Guerrer is the cousin of Saif Al Guerrer, who is the 10th richest person in Dubai. Abdullah Al Guerrer is the chairman of Al Mashrak Bank, which he founded in 1967. Today, Al Mashrak is one of the leading banks in the UAE. Abdul is the owner of Al Guerrer, UAE-based family-owned conglomerate, which owns an animal food processor, a Dubai shopping mall, a flour mill, apartments, and a water company. Just like the other billionaires, Abdul has a lot of other businesses in the whole world. His businesses earned him almost $5 billion, but his net worth is $8 billion, which makes him the second richest person in Dubai. Number 1. Majid al Futaim. Majid al Futaim is the richest person in Dubai right now. His business has shortened, as MAF earns him more than $10 billion a year, and it's increasing every year. 
It owns 22 malls, including Mall of Egypt in Cairo and Mall of the Emirates in Dubai and 12 hotels. He also owns a giant $250 million yacht, which is 139 meters long with eight staterooms for guests and much, much more to entertain those guests. The company has worked in various countries like Jordan, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait, Pakistan, Oman, Armenia, UAE, Georgia, and Kuwait. Unlike his Emirati opponents, Majid al Futaim focuses on entertainment such as concerts and cinemas. These things boosted his name to new heights. MAF has also worked with fashion brands like All Saints, Abercrombie & Fitch, and Lulamont, and Athletica. Futaim's net worth is $6 billion, which is enough to make him the richest person in the most luxurious city. Thanks for watching. Leave the comment down below and let us know what do you think. Don't forget to subscribe for new and upcoming episodes.